Hi, everyone. Welcome to the um, tight knit, uh, intimate, um, small DNI uh, working group meeting today. I'm the facilitator, Elizabeth, and um, we've already been chatting for a little bit. Um, so we just have a few things to talk about, and I'm going to turn it over to Matt now, who's going to tell us about the technical improvements to the DNI badging program, the bot. Yeah. Um... So we're making some improvements um, for, for mostly for quality of life of reviewers, quality of reviewer um, life. Uh, we have uh, a lot of um, improvements coming through. We are moving to a cloud hosted service. Um, we had a cloud hosted service before, but we were um, we were having a lot of trouble with the logging into it. So we decided to move and um, we are happy with the one so far. Uh, let's see, we, and the improvements to the badging bot itself are going to come in the form of um, improving the um, way it detects, um, I guess this might be a little granular, but the, the way it figures out if it's a review or not, we've had some regular issues where it treats it like, where the bot treats it like a review. And we don't want that to happen because then it starts assigning random people, and we uh, we don't want we don't want to be assigned, and um, that can be a, that can be a mess. So uh, we fixed that problem. Um, we've also had a um, had an issue. Our our bad assignment for um, assigning reviewers has been random assignment so far, and that while that random assignment works for um, a small group of people with a lot of reviewers for that for that um, for that number of reviews. Uh, we need a. We, we we decided to implement a system um, where it we can pull for, pull the list of reviewers from GitHub and have a count of how many people have done how many reviews and uh, so we, we've got a little a lot more sophisticated system for putting up that um, review um, assignment and um, figuring out who if we need to assign anybody to the issue. So that's all we have for that. Um, thank you for capturing those in the notes. Um, and that's that's pretty much all. I had to go specific because we're making some, we're making tweaks, we're making updates that um, that improve QOL. So um, nothing huge, but we're really glad that it's working well as we have. We're going to be integrating that in the next couple of days here because it's all bug fixes. That's really great, Matt. Um, is there anything that any of us can do to help you with that? Because it seems like you have a whole lot on your plate right now, <laughs> um, just trying to manage all of this. So um, is, if there's anything we can do to help you, let let us know. Yeah, I'm going to be um, I'm going to be getting some help from Asta on setting up with the with the organization on GitHub. Uh, that's something that can be a little mysterious. There's web hooks, which is a term I'm not very familiar with. I I, I don't know how I got it working on my own fork. So uh, getting your help would be really nice. Will be really nice with that. And um, I think the only other thing is if anybody's willing to be um, a, a pilot reviewer um, that you are, I think Elizabeth, you might be most applicable to this where you where you're on the repository, you get assigned as a reviewer, but only because I I, uh, I, I need people that I can assign. I, I have myself and I have my test account. And I need more I need you probably but that's about it. Yeah, that's great. Um, just let me know what I have to do. <laughs> and yeah, I'll do you'll it, just see, you'll it just start to see some notifications coming from the repository that mean absolutely nothing. So that's okay. all. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> I'm also great at doing nothing. So there we go. <laughs> um, hi, Nicole, by the way, glad you could join us. Uh, we're just about done, hey believe it or not. We oh, have gotcha. a very short meeting today. Okay. Um, I do need to uh, pick a facilitator for next week. Oh, you already put your in there. <sighs> Matt Snell, look at you taking that initiative and already adding your name in there. Um, thank you very much for doing that. Um, yeah. Does does anybody have anything else that they want to bring up? This is the last week for um, looking at the metrics. Um, if we if there's any comments on those, I guess we could look at that and see uh, if, if anybody's commented on any of our metrics. That are under review. Let me just hop over to GitHub really quick and see. Oops. If you if you do have any comments, um, are you do you want to be sharing your screen on this, or should I pull it up? Um, if if you already have it pulled up, feel free. But I don't know if you can. Hang on a second. 
I'm I'm yeah. just slow. It takes me a while. <laughs> it takes me a while to find stuff. Let me just make you a co-host here. Cause that I can do. There we go. To share if you can before. There it is. Okay, so this one we have been talking about um, for a while. And I think what was finally decided is that we would, um, I think we're gonna keep it as it is. I think Lawrence was going to take it because his PR was pretty big. And so I think we decided to keep it, keep the metric as it is. And Lawrence is gonna break that huge PR into smaller chunks that are a little more digestible because some of the recommendations were like typos and like rewording of a few things, but some of his suggestions were a pretty major rework of how the metric reads and is implemented. So um, I think that's where we decided to leave it. And then as soon as we get it out the door, then he can go back and we'll look at it again. If someone else was in conversations about this and has a different memory or understanding of how we decided to go forward with this, uh, please speak up. <laughs> so I'm, I'm relying on my memory, which isn't always great, to be honest. So. Yeah, that's what I remember too. Okay. Should we mark that down in here? Uh, it's good to have that. I, I, um, I want to, I'm just going to ask, so what are we, so what are we doing with this? Is it still a release candidate at this point is my question. It, it is. Um, it is. Yeah, and it will go through as a part of this March release as it is currently written. And then after that is when um, Lawrence is going to redo his PR. So it might get revised for the next release in October or whenever that is. Um, but for now, I think it's definitely still going to go part of of this metric release because it's pretty well developed. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to leave a quick note in here. Um, well, I'll do it after the meeting because uh, we don't have to wait around for that. Okay. Re a recording of me typing is not that exciting to, <laughs> to watch because I don't even have my clicky keyboard, so it doesn't even sound good. Um, okay, so documentation accessibility. Ray had a um i think yeah i think um that's been resolved yeah this has been merged so i think this this is this is taken care of for now okay so we're good i mean that was pretty much it looks like a, it's pretty much finished um hopefully yeah I mean, it looks good to me uh, anyway um and the last one is more Ray and Justin. Uh, I, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but let's go. Looks like it's still got some discussion going on between Ray and Justin there. Okay. So it doesn't uh, yes, have a lot of action that. items mm -hmm. to take up on this one, on these ones. Gotcha. Yeah, I think we're good. Hi, Ruth. Um, okay, so I think really we don't have much else to talk about unless there's something else pressing that anybody wants to bring up elizabeth um i have something that uh i'm not sure belongs in this meeting or right i'm not sure where it belongs but but um i so do we when we release candidates for um our metrics for uh community input um have we ever done social tiles um it, so that we communicate through our chaos project twitter handle it, and and i'm saying this because i'm starting to do more social tiles for what i do in my day job and i thought i might try to put some of those together um for chaos project uh 
if if that would be helpful to drive more eyeballs to uh, to I, I'm just trying to think of ways to increase visibility of uh, what we're doing. Um, yes. So okay. um, uh, we uh, we do use Twitter, um, but I don't know what a social title is. So maybe we need that. Um, yeah. It's just an, we it's, use, it's yeah. Oh, go ahead. It, it's just basically an, an image that's sized um, that would be sized appropriately for Twitter. You know that that uh, I'm thinking that would basically have the chaos. Um, you know our our um, uh, imagery. You know, in the background of what we use for, you know, in presentations, um, and and then just, you know, is it, it well, it kind of inspired me as you were going through uh, GitHub and we were looking at the different candidates, um, to just put, you know, hey, in this release, and then just kind of list them in the in the tile, just you know, the, the kind of the thirty thousand foot view, sort of what they that what the candidates are. Um, but it, it, it's really more just a visual, just a picture, just an, a, 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 an image um, or, or a, yeah, it's more imagery because um, we know that pictures and videos kind of tend to stop people in, in Twitter. Um, and, and I didn't know if we were uh, do, doing that. We may already be doing that, um, but, I, but I thought I'm, I'm getting my feet wet, wetter with uh, with a tool called Canva. And I thought, wow, you know, I, I might start um, kind of doing some of that for Chaos Project. Um, honestly, I, I love Canva. And I think that would be an amazing contribution because we do not have that right now. And it, I actually opened an issue on the website uh, repo about something specific I was trying to link to. And it, it just like just said false was the, the image that comes up when you, when oh. you uh, try to tweet it. So I was like, yeah, I have to, I removed the preview. Um, but oh. yeah, that would be an amazing contribution because we don't have any of that as far as I know right now. If we do, okay. I haven't seen it. So okay. yes, 100,000%. Oh, okay. okay, awesome, great. Um, we have, a, um, I think a, maybe a better venue for that conversation might be our uh, website um, meeting. Because okay. I think there's a lot of things that we try to link to through um, through Twitter that also need those things as well. I mean, I think what you're talking okay. about would be something separate, but um, maybe that would be related. And I think they usually okay. are the first Monday of the month, I think. So the next one actually okay. might be Monday. And I don't know what your schedule is, but. Gotcha. Um, okay. If you can make that meeting, that'd be awesome. And I can send it to you. But if you can't. Okay. Um, I would definitely bring that up. Uh, I can bring it up on your behalf too, um, or else we can bring okay. it up at the community meeting as well, but a thousand percent, okay. yes. Okay, okay, cool, great. It's at 11 a.m. next Monday. Um, <clears throat> so at 11 a.m. Central America, Chicago, I know we're all in like, different zones, but um, I think that's really interesting because I looked at social tiles. Wow, they're being used like everywhere. Uh, and I did not know that this was a thing. I guess I've seen them kind of ubiquitously, but um, pretty interesting. I've never um, heard of Canva either, but that sounds like an interesting tool. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's something that I've just been, um, I'm social lead on our team. And uh, yeah, it's something that I've been kind of experimenting with. <laughs> with. Um, so yeah, it's, um, yeah, I'd be, I'd be, happy to, to do that. Yeah, we use Canva too. It's it's pretty awesome. It's very easy for, it's really good for like small businesses and stuff who really don't have the time to um, go into like GIMP or something and create posts. So it's like super easy and they have a ton of templates and stuff that are actually um, really cool. And I believe a part of it's open source too. That's why we were looking at it because we started a um, and open source uh, tools for just design. And that was one of the ones. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's, that's awesome that it's open source. I, I, I didn't even realize that. Um, and, and we can take this offline too, but um, so 
I'm, it kind of leads me to think of my next question, which is, um, does, and I'm sure we do, does Chaos Project have a, uh, basically a brand um, palette, like a palette of colors that we use? We, I know we have, you know, that one image that we use in our presentation, um, but if we have uh, approved colors, uh, Canva is something that uh, if you have the paid version, which I actually do, um, you can upload um, uh, logos, approved colors, like uh, basically your brand assets. Um, and so, yeah, oh, cool, awesome. I think, I think Matt's put, uh, perfect, awesome. Yay. Yeah, and um, on our media page um, that Matt and I linked to, um, we don't specifically say here's the, here's like the uh, pan Pantone is that the right word Pantone mm -hmm. colors, but yeah. Um, that yeah that we would just probably pull from the logo. Those are the colors that we try to use. I think in general. Okay. Okay. Great. Perfect. I I'm gonna go in and kind of set uh, set up a um, section for chaos project and, uh, and and get set up there then cool nicole where are those images hosted or maybe emily you know that like would we put them in like we have we use wordpress so i don't know if we would put them in like a wordpress directory to pull from or wh like where do those where do they go do you know mm, i'm i'm not sure on that that's a great question do you, do you mean like the images like that we use in our presentation template mm -hmm. No, well, I meant like, so when Twitter pulls that image, like where is it pulling it from? Or do we just attach the image to the oh. tweet? So basically, you, okay. So you essentially would create it in, um, in Canva. So, hmm. so, so I, I'm thinking you'd, you'd use the chaos project image that we use in the presentations. That's the only one that I know of that is like, you know, emblematic um, of the chaos project. Um, so if I had that image, then you would upload that image into Canva. Uh, and then you essentially use that image in the different tiles that you create in the in the canva app and then you essentially download them to yeah. your desktop i mean is what i've been doing you can download them but for me to save time if anybody needs to access the folder you can actually email them the link and it'll have and you can look at you can change if they can edit it or if they're just a viewer and you can send it to them that way as well so that they can just oh, cool. uh, yeah, so you can create since you because I have the paid version too, so you can create different folders for different things. And so I'd have like, you know, my IEEE stuff and then, you know, the stuff that I do for like different social medias and I have them all in different folders. So when I need somebody to look at it, I just send them that specific folder. Oh, awesome. That's great. And depending on which paid version you have, let's say someone else wants to take it on too, I believe that they have like a team sort of enterprise version as well so that you can add more people to it. I, yeah, so I do, um, I have that one where I've, I've added our internal team. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize about the email or the share uh, capabilities. So that's great. Like I said, I'm, I'm just, I'm just starting to experiment. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm like one or maybe one or one and a half months into it. Um, uh, but yeah, all of the images are, are, are there. And then we have a publishing um, uh, tool. Uh, and so I, I actually, um, you, there is a, you can publish straight away from Canva to your social media platform. Um, but because we have a publishing tool that we use, um, I then download the images that I've created to my desktop and then 
and then upload them into the publishing tool um, so that I'm doing it through the tool rather than through Canva. Yeah, we, that's how I do mine too, because uh, I have, I had Hootsuite already, so, um, and I think their publishing tool is actually fairly new as well, so I haven't got a chance to use it. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for bringing yeah. that up. That's really, really, really helpful. Will make us look uh, a little more engaging and more professional, so thank you very much. Um, Absolutely, yeah. Okay, is there anything else that we need to bring up? We have about 20 minutes left. So if there's anything, we could uh, potentially work on some metrics or we can, you all can have your time back. Whatever the group wants to do is completely fine with me. I'm just looking at the issues to see if we have any metric ideas. We do have a few. Honestly, I'd like to work on the onboarding uh, metric, but I, I feel uh, since we're getting to the release, I'm feeling a little burnt out on making metrics myself. Yeah, I, I feel that. <laughs> I definitely can understand that. Well, um, if it's okay with everyone, then why don't we just end a little early um, and we'll just pick up this time next week. And um, in the meantime, if there's anything pressing or anything that you feel like you want to discuss, there's also the mailing list. You can post it to that uh, if you like. So, yeah. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Sounds great. Um, Thank by you. the way, uh, Miss Chaos Community, is there a good way for me to share a private key with you for the for the uh, new badging bot? That is an excellent question. Uh, I'm not sure what that what the best way to do that would be. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. It's hard to share passwords, right? So. <laughs> right. Um, I'll tell you what, you... I'll just give you, I can give you my number. You can text it to me. How's that? Okay. Or if you could hop into my Zoom after this, I could just tell you maybe. Okay. That works okay. too. So that, okay, that's the way it All doesn't right. it doesn't get caught up in the record. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, it still would be yeah written down somewhere. So yeah. All right, All right thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll post. Right. I'll send you an email with my Zoom. Okay, perfect. All right. Thank you, Matt. Nicole and Emily. See you all later. Bye. Hey, thank you. Bye. 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 -bye.